that's um, my sponsor for Bristol Ladies this season, um, and he's come down to watch me play some rugby. So I've kind of we've come to do the other thing. So I've come to kind of experience some of the driving st sort of stuff here. Yeah, we thought we'd uh, come down today and just sort of give Izzy a bit of a view on what life was like as a racing driver kind of thing. So she's tested out the sim, been on all the cardio stuff, tested out the neuro track, which is helping to improve peripheral vision and stuff like that, and just sort of like show her what it's like to be a racing driver and see if there's any stuff that really sort of crosses over between rugby and racing. I think it's really difficult for me. There's nothing else that kind of, like, there are crossovers, but the actual physical things that they do here, there's nothing else like it. So like getting in and doing the um, kind of reaction tests and the brake tests and things like that. Whereas there, where there's things that like can help you skillfully wise in rugby, the actual doing of the tests are like completely different to anything that I've ever done before. So it was really cool. Guys, I nearly died then. <laughs> A lot of stuff that we do here that I mean it's very driver specific because we spend a lot of time sat down so we work on sort of core strength sat down neck strength stuff like that and then obviously reaction times for starts and stuff which they don't have a lot of crossover today with other sports but I mean the general stuff like sort of like the peripheral vision and the reaction times can really help other sports out as well I think yeah definitely. I think the, especially like the neuroscanner, that was um, with the peripheries, that was amazing because um, I was talking about it like um, for me as a flanker, just seeing, like being able to sight the ball at the back of the scrum at the eight, number eight's feet and getting off the scrum, making that tackle, it's, it's all about tracking things in your periphery. So um, I think that was probably the main one that I felt, thought would be like really helpful and benefit me in rugby. I think like the concentration level is amazing and I know. Um, Matt said before that he found it difficult concentrating at school yeah. and stuff like that. And, oh, I've been, and I was exactly the same. But like, it's amazing that he has the ability now to like switch and have that focus when he's on the track. And I, when I was doing it in the sim earlier, I've, I was all over the place. So, like, I've got such massive respect for it. It's awesome. It's like a little bucket. I think being in the sim because it actually made me feel sick. <laughs> The feedback from the car is actually, and with the with the screen, that was really difficult. And the way that you have to kind of change gear, but like you're looking, you're almost, almost all, um, looking ahead. So I suppose in rugby, that's also another crossover because you're having to read and scan the next plays. Whereas it, for him, it's reading the track and knowing what, what you've got to do next before it happens. So I think that was really difficult. <laughs> well, we don't sort of train as much strength wise because you don't really sort of need to be that you need to be strong to be able to steer the cars and stuff but definitely not nowhere near as strong as you need to be to be a rugby player yeah for sure merci i didn't feel sick that time actually maybe because i was doing less spinning around <laughs>